What's up guys, my name is Yusuf and today I'm going to show you one of the best apps I've ever seen on the Android device called ZD Box. Now what it is, is a all-in-one toolbox that lets you control almost every possible thing on your phone you can imagine. So I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide to all of them. The first one will be battery info. Now this tells you basically all the information about your battery. As you can see, you can tell that I'm charging it. And it also tells some unnecessary information in case you were curious, like how many voltage you're using. It tells you how good your battery is, the temperature, how long you have left. It tells you everything you need about the battery. Also, it gives you a little notification icon up here, which says 30. That's how much my battery is, hence why I'm charging it right now. The next thing is mobile traffic, and I love this one because ac and got rid of their unlimited data plan, so I need to know how much data I'm using. So here you can see I haven't used anything, but this is a timer. It can count how much data you're using, and you tell it what day to start, and you tell it what day to end. It gives you a notification when you're getting close to your limit. So one more thing this can do is it'll warn you when you're close to your 200 megabyte limit. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the traffic settings. Now here it asks me when I want to be warned. I'm going to go ahead and set that to 80%. So now when I reach 80% of my limit, it'll give me a warning. The next thing is the do not disturb feature. And this is really good if you have school or if you go to work a lot. So what this does is it puts your phone on silent, vibrate, or airplane mode depending on the times you want. So I go to school a lot and I don't want my phone to ring during class. So I've already made a custom setting in my school schedule as well as when I sleep because I don't want people calling me while I'm asleep. So I'm going to go ahead and add another one just so I can show you guys how it works. So by default, it's going to turn all of them on. It's going to put it on silent mode from 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. I don't want every single day. You know, let's say I have a class after school on Monday. So I'll turn it on Monday. I'll set it to, I guess, 11 p.m. And then I'll keep it till 12 p.m. Of course, it's 12 a.m. So right now if I hit save, it's going to keep my phone on silent from 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. There's also airplane modes, and there's one more mode for vibration mode. So the next feature I want to show you is app lock. And this one is really cool because if you don't want people going on your Facebook or your MySpace, you can put a password on the program so nobody can access it. So for example, let's say I don't want people on my Facebook. So select Facebook as well as... I don't know, my LinkedIn and my AT&T. So now I don't want people using these. I'm going to go ahead and set a password. I can choose a number password or a pattern password. So I'm going to put a pattern password. That's a new password. So now I have a password on the programs. I'll go ahead and show you. So let's say I want to go on my Facebook. There you go. Put a password. Now there's my Facebook. So you can easily go back to the program by going to notifications and selecting that little thing. <laughs> Next thing is called Task Killer. Now of course there's probably a million of these that you can download, but this one is really neat because it, the program is load instantly, unlike the one that comes by default which you have to wait till it calculates how much memory it's using. So I can select multiple of these. I don't want these to be on. So I'm gonna, I can kill the ass, but I don't want to kill them. The next one is called Uninstaller. Of course, it's very easy to use. So let's say I don't want. Actually, there is one of them I don't want. It's a good chance to show you. This is a switch I downloaded to turn on and off data. Didn't work. So I'm going to go ahead and install it because it sucks. Uninstalled. Done. The next one is called App to SD. This one pretty much tells you which programs you can move to your SD card, which ones are already on the SD card, and which ones are on the phone only that you can't move. So let's say you're running out of space on your phone. You can easily select a program and it'll move it to your SD card. And if you click the, if you click the batch move button, you can select multiple of them to move to your SD card. Of course, I don't want to do that right now, but you guys get the point. The last one is called Cache Cleaner. I'm not going to do it because I want to keep all my cache. But, you know, you want to be careful of this because, you know, for example, I play a lot of Alien Invasions and I have a save data on it. And I don't want to get rid of the save data because I worked hard on it. Last thing I want to show you is a widget it comes with. So as you can see, there's two places. I have this up here, which is Task Killer. It tells you how much of my RAM I'm using. And here I have some common switches, which is a very common app on the marketplace. So this one, if I want to kill some of my apps, well, there it is. 
say I want to kill Facebook, Google Plus, and whatever email is. So I'd kill them. Done. Love it. The last thing I want to show you is the switch widget. Really cool. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, just like the ones I have over here that come with the Motorola phone. So of course, I'm going to show you how you place it because it's pretty neat. You can you can do anything you want on it. So I'm going to go ahead and select the 4x1ZD toolbar. And then here I can custom set each of the buttons and you can change the theme to white. So if I want the first one to be flashlight, I go ahead and set flashlight. If I want the second one to be Wi-Fi, I can set it to whatever I want. Same with all of these. And of course you can have them, have them go by two rows. And same thing with the task killer. You can make this one go by two rows as well. Well guys, that's all I wanted to show you guys for today. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe.